You're good. Oh. Yep, got it. That made me jump then for a second. Um, <laughs> so you're aware, I'm also from an acting background, so I, I've gone to the opposite side of the screen now. So uh, I was an actor all my life going through. I still do bits, um, you know, when I, I, but I tend not to. It's, it's invite, invited to do stuff, short films, TV ads, that sort of thing. Um, but I don't really audition anymore. Not unless something really catches my eye, then I'll go for it. Um, so I, I don't know how many directors you've worked with before that's come from the acting background, but it makes it a lot easier for me personally, because obviously I'm thinking of it from the actor's point of view, but also from the vision point of view. So please don't at any point get offended if I go, it's not quite right. It's, it's, I just want the intonation on this word here and there'll be a reason for it and when you actually see the fi final products you might not i try and explain it as best as i can at the time but there might be just a couple of little bits that i ask you and you're like mm, mm, it's not how it works in my head but trust me when it comes to the actual final production you'll understand why because it'll tie into the rest of the script it's normally just small little things that i ask for um but like i said having watched the audition tapes it makes it a hell of a lot easier because you both played it as I envisaged from from Adam's script. It, it just it was just like, yeah, these guys get it. These guys get it. I was really pleased with it. Um, there'll be a couple of little bits. Um, for example, um, I've not decided which of you yet, um, but one of you, rather than st starting direct to camera, I'll have you coming from off camera. So you might be having, you know, we might hear a garbled something in the, in at the side as if you're talking to yourself, then coming into camera. And I also definitely want one of you, and I've not decided which one this is going to work with best as yet, but to actually start off handheld. So I don't know what you're using. You both actually look like you're on computers <laughs> at present. Either that or you've got a really steady <laughs> little tripod there for <laughs> camera. So it might be it might be a case of, you know, you, you're just getting your, your laptop, you know, whatever you're recording on, and, and just sort of like moving in and just, you know, plonking it down. Those little bits will make this piece. Those tiny little bits will really help make the piece um, because it'll be a lot more natural. It'll be a lot more like... Um, a vlog from a point of view of Joe Public, like myself, rather than it being somebody that's professionally vlogging. Hmm. So it, it it's it's quite straightforward, but it's just little touches. Um, and I'm sure Adam, as the script writer, will be chewing my ear off as well if I go uh, and say something against what he's written. But at the end of the day, I've got to have the vision to go through the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I've got All the right. producer credit you, as well. You thought it had? Oh yeah, yeah, you got the producer's credit as well, definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, if Steve, you mute and turn off your cam. Yeah, I will uh, mute. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, I'll stay on as well, but me, uh, Ellie's gonna chime in with Dr. Kelly and Mary. Um, I'm still to relook at the the Mary scene because I might mm -hmm. have it just cat on her phone or something like that. I've, I've got to think about it and talk to these guys. But let's just start. So... Right, I'm going to turn off my video now as well, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> so, uh, the following film takes place through a collection of video calls and self-shot confidentials based on real people and true events. Interior, Cat's apartment, title, April 2020. Cat, 20... Young university uh, secluded student is drinking a pint of water and brushing her hair like a Disney prince. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus. Jay's family got it and I use it. But I've been finding myself holding my stomach and humming Disney songs. It's silly. There's nothing there yet. I should start showing soon. That's what my mum says. Oh, Jay's dad knows now. After his dad calmed down, he was happy for us. Two months on, still called Jay a daft twat, which he is, but he's my daft twat. She sighs, pops her lips a couple of times and springs into thought. My mum wants to take me shopping for baby stuff. Jay says, wait till we have a house. 
we've been looking at houses online. I've got my student loan and he's got some money in. Just waiting now. She smiles and stops recording. Uh, scene two. Interior. Can, I, can we just, sorry, Adam, I'm, I'm jumping in now. Can we just run that again uh, this time? If we do it without any of the um, the direction right. stuff. So let's just let Natalia just completely run this one. Right. Just like just like your audition tape for me, Natalia. Just okay. so I can hear the, the breaks where you're naturally putting mm -hmm. whenever you're ready. <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus. Jay's family got it and I use it. But I've been finding myself holding my stomach and humming Disney songs. It's silly. There's nothing there yet. I should start showing soon. That's what my mum says. Oh, Jay's dad knows now. After he calmed down, he said he was happy for us. Two months on. Still called Jay a daft twat. Which he is. But he's my daft twat. Oh, my mum wants to take me shopping for baby stuff. Jay says, wait till we have a house. We've been looking at houses online. I've got my student loan and he's got some money in. So just waiting now. That's great. That is great. Um, for me, that is almost exactly as I want it. There's, there's not really anything to change. Um, there's just one, there's just one little bit where, um, you know, oh, uh, oh, Jay, Jay's dad knows now. After his dad calmed down, he was happy for us. Two months on, so it's, it's just the two months on, okay. he needs to be sort of like a statement. He's happy for us two months on. Yeah. yeah. So there's just that. Just, I'm not going to ask you to read it again. It's just a mental note for you there. That's all. Yeah. And then gotcha. it's, it's literally just that little bit. And everything else is perfect. Okay. okay. Cool. So from your perspective on this one, this is your first vlog. This is your first thing that you're going to do. So if you just think that you're going to be a little bit nervous with this one, even though you, you're in mm -hmm. your home environment, you're whatever, um, but it's just little, what you did on your audition tape, which I loved, was your little glances, are, you know, you, those little things and the way you just sort of like turned away from being direct to the camera was perfect. Mm -hmm. it, it just, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing this, but I don't mm. know. What, you know, it's, it's just those little things that really made it special and really sort of like drew me into your performance. So those, just keep those in. That's perfect. Okay, okay. I'm going to shut up and let Adam take over again. Sorry. Yeah. Thank awesome. you, kind sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, interior, Dr. Kelly's home, Jez House, Cat's apartment, title, me. 2020. Dr. Kelly, late 50s, is looking over some paperwork and talking to Cat and Jay. Jay, 20, young labourer, buyer a three way person, phone call, whatever I put. So, how's it going with you two? Person you talk, I'm great. No, but I'm not the one as a person like going outside of her, huh? <laughs> Cat sarcastically rolls her eyes and laughs with Jay. Dr. Kelly doesn't look Oh, from his notes. Everything's going well. How's the morning sickness? Uh, it could be better. I keep the window open and there's some other students who smoke and it drifts in and makes me... Oh. <laughs> don't worry, Bob. I get you a fan. You don't have to. Well, secondhand smoke isn't good for anyone, not just a young mother. Speaking of smoking, Jay, how are you doing with not smoking? <laughs> Cat blunts out a laugh. Jay looks sheepish. Dr. Kelly looks up from his notes for a moment, raises an eyebrow. 
Last time we met, you said you were going to try and give up, at least th through the pe pregnancy. How's that going? There is an awkward... Has, has the call frozen? No, I just don't think he wants to say. Well, I have cut down, but you know, it's just, it's been hard cooped up at home. Business is good. Because uh, there was people want stuff to do. Well, there's, you know, fuck all else to do. Well, I have cut down, but it's just, it's been hard cooped up at home with nothing else to do, you know. Uh, business is good because it's bugger, just bugger all else to do, you know. So I uh, fit in the kitchen the other week. You're dodging the question. Well, when I managed to get over to see Cat and have a walk, I don't smoke then. Yeah, but you think of them. Dr. Kelly takes notice and smokes. Well, we can get you some help with that if you'd like. But you should quit. It's poison on your lungs and, and poison to your wallet. I'll get there. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? I think we're good. Yeah, not. How are you both coping with the long distance thing? That looks sad. Jay looks away. Steve, anything to add or press on? Yep, a couple, couple of little bits, just, just for notes for when you're going through it. So, um, Right, Kat, just, sorry, um, Natalia, sorry. I always do that, so You're you right. have to ignore me. I'm forever <laughs> doing fine. it. Um, so I just go back a page. Right, so uh, at the bottom of page two, which is um, second to last line, no, uh, no I, just, I just don't think he wants to say, just put, add a little bit of sarcasm to that. Just because you, you, you've either got to play it mm -hmm. angrily or you've got to be sarcastic. And at the minute, you are both yeah. getting on. So it's, it's almost like you're teasing him. Uh, you know, yeah, I just don't want to think, you know, I just don't think he wants to say type thing. Okay. So it's just a little bit of sarcasm, a bit a bit of fun added to it, because at this stage, you're getting on A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Um, but when we flip over onto page three you get a little bit you get a little bit annoyed with him you're dodging the question you know you sort of did it that way um but just a little bit more so you'd already got that intonation in your voice it's just a little just mm. turn it up a little bit but still not going <clears throat> okay yeah um yeah. so jason just for you uh that first line, the very first line, this is really, really important. Okay. Um, there's, the, what, there's two, the, well, there's a couple of ways of playing this. There's probably three or four. But for me, um, personally, Doc, I'm great, but I'm not the one who's got a parasite growing inside of a line. Just a little bit of fun, bit cheeky, bit tongue in cheek. You know, yeah. it's like, because I think if we'd have had other people playing it, it'd have been played quite angrily. Like you really resent the fact that she's pregnant, but you're not. Okay. You, you at this stage, you're really looking forward to it, and to tie in with your later piece where you start getting upset, you are looking forward to this birth. You are looking forward to being a dad. Okay, it's not in ideal circumstances, but you're looking forward to it. So it's fun and cheeky. It's it's a little bit a little bit tongue in cheek. Um, um, Again, with uh, flipping over the page on page three, uh, Dr. Kelly's just gone through. Well, we can get you some help with that, but if you'd like, uh, but if you'd like, you'd like, uh, but you should quit. Blah blah blah. 
yeah, okay, it's one of those. Yeah, okay, I'll get there. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a dismissive comment. It's like, yeah, I'll do it in my own good time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, grand. Let's crack on. There's just like really minor notes, but if I give me you now, when we come to do it, and you've started getting that in your head, it should hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to make it a lot easier for you mm-hmm. today. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show up and let's let's crack on. If we can do the next the next bit, um, who's reading in for Mary, Adam? Again. Uh, Elliot again, yeah. Elliot. Okay, great. So Mary's voice is broken. She spoke three thousand woodbines to get to this stage. Um, if we can do it without the without all the little bits being read in, just so I can yeah. just get the natural flow of how uh, Natalia and, and and Jason uh, banter off each other. So the little bits of of, of stuff. Well, well, Cat and Mary. Okay, I'm going to shut up. So whenever you're ready, Elliot. Okay. Hello, Catherine. Just hold on a sec. I'm talking to my daughter. No, I'll be 10. 15 minutes tops. Yeah, I'll have a brew. Mummy, you still working? Yeah, there's like seven of us in the office. Most of them are working from home. Why aren't you? It's eight o'clock. It's admin stuff. Fucking loads of safety shit and emailing and bollocks to learn. It smells like a hospital ward in here. Raheem over here uh, overuses the hand sanitizer, but she doesn't want to work from home either because a fella does her head in. Sounds awful. How are you feeling? Tired. Oh, don't let me keep you up, love. Get you up, get off to bed. No, I meant with. When's the due date again? November? Uh, Early December. We've got a pool going. Mum? What? If I win, I get a little daisy, something nice. Daisy? What's wrong with daisy? It might be a boy. Nah, you're craving mushrooms, aren't you? No more than usual. I got cravings for them with you and your sister. Your Nana Davis went through the same with me and your Auntie Anne. (laughs) Jay says we should call her Rihanna or Mariah. Pretty much any R&B artist. Oh, God, no. That's awful. (laughs) I like Phoenix or Fifi for short. (laughs) Oh, little Fifi. I want a little Fifi. (laughs) Jay's dad thinks it's stupid. He's called Keith. That's like the COVID-19 of people names. (sighs) I miss you. I miss you too, baby. Are Are you okay for money? Is Jay working? His dad hasn't been getting any work and they haven't got the government grant. All this paperwork, bollocks and yada, yada, yada. I mean, he's been looking for work for Audi or something like that. They're looking for people. Well, if you need some money, give your dad a call. I'm going to have to go. Sorry, Petal, but ring me tomorrow. I'll be at home. Ring your dad. I will. Love you, Rini. Love you too. Bye, baby. Bye. Kisses. Bye. Love you. Bye. Uh, bye. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Just Sweet. do it like that. Perfect. Brilliant. Cool. Excellent. Right, next one. Uh, obviously, you know, to Elliot, there's a few notes for you, but um, we'll get to those oh, later. I, like, I, <laughs> I thought you were phenomenal, Elliot. Oh, thank you, Natalia. <laughs> right. Uh, cut the apartment. I 
should do voice okay, over. Okay, so this is your <laughs> this is this is the big one for you, Natalia. Well, this and the end one. Yeah, I think this one is for me. I think this one is well. You know what? I'm going to shut up. I'm just going to let you do it. Let's just do it. Let's see how you feel it. So, um, sorry, thank you. Justin. I know that you you your lines are kind of like bookending the the film and everything. And thanks for sticking around while we're doing it. I just say that and then leave not to do cat. <laughs> Right, whenever you're ready, Natalia. Yep. He spent the money, Mum. He spent the deposit money. He keeps asking to look at cheaper housing, but I know what he's done. He had a black eye the other day. He's been fighting with his dad. He said that he's not spent it, but his dad has. It's a cycle. It always starts off the same way. Dad, I'm going to the shop. Do you want anything? Oh, get us a six pack, lad. Well, give us some cash then. I pay you enough to get it, don't I? Give me six fucking cans. You should pay me more then, shouldn't you? You fucking talk to me like that again, you'll be fucking unemployed and homeless, little shit bag. If you don't come back with six cans, you might as well fuck off to that little tiny student flat and stay there because you won't be coming back in this house and that's for fucking free, that lad. Then he'll shrink down and go to the shop and get six for his dad and six for himself. By tea time, they'll be scrapping in the kitchen. By eight o'clock, he's on the vodka. He's got no place to go. Like me. So tired of this now. I just want the world to go back to normal. I want to go out without a mask on and, and not be pregnant anymore. Jay came around the other week, stayed for three days, stunk. We shared a shower, felt nice, washed off the dirt from each other and just held each other. In my mind, nothing else mattered. Just us. Mummy, daddy and whatever you're going to be, little one. Great. Um, the only thing I want you to work out, and I don't know whether or not you can do it, it obviously Jason's got quite a strong Southern Irish accent. accent. <laughs> so just, 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 it, it doesn't, it does not have to be perfect at, at all. Mm. It, you know, it can be a real piss take accent. Jason, I'm not even going to attempt it because I don't want to offend you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not acting in this one, so that's fine. Um, so, yeah, just just trying to, you know, you are imitating your your boyfriend. Mm. Um, you're really pissed off with him. You know, he's really screwed up. Uh, mm. Whether or not it's him or it's his dad that spent the money, it's immaterial. That was your deposit. You're really, really pissed off. So just try and work that out, even if it's just a couple of words that we get in there that's got a that's got a Southern Irish accent in there. Um, mm. That'd be fantastic because it would really, really help because it yeah. that'd tell us that you've spent a fair amount of time with Jay as a character. You know, Kat mm. spent a lot of time with Jay. You would pick up on those little bits. I do it with my with my girlfriend. Um, the, the the slight southern accent that's there, and I'll take the piss out of her with that. And then you know she'll take the piss out of me because I'm northern. Um, and it, it's just showing, and it helps to show the intimacy between between the two characters, um, and it will help sell your story 
um, a lot better. Mm. Um, not that you're not already selling it. What I mean is it just adds to everything there. Yeah. Um, so that is so do you, really... Sorry. Go on, no, go on. Um, did you want me to do that just when I'm saying Jay's lines or with yeah. his dad as well? So Jay's and his dad's, because we're, we're going to assume that Jay's dad yeah. is also... So it's that yeah. we need maybe try and put on a deeper one for Jay's for Jay's dad because okay, yeah. Jay's dad's an arsehole. So a little bit of a deeper yeah. voice for that one. You can you know oh. you can just do the accent for Jay. Sorry, Adam, yeah. were you just gonna say something there, mate? I was gonna say if um because when I was hearing it, maybe we could do some audio with Jason, get his as J lines and we can maybe put the audio over like echoes. It, it's something technical bollocks, but it's my own thing. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Sorry. It came yeah, to mind. Yeah. Well, for, for this, yeah. If, if we can just get a little bit of that action, that'd be great. So apart from that, yeah. really lovely. I like the, I like the angerness. I think you could just build it up a little bit. So yeah just to get a little bit more angry um by which point um so it's a second it's a second big paragraph uh then he'll shrink down and go to the shop and get for six and get him get six for himself that's the point where you are absolutely seething because you've really mm. really wound yourself up so you're seething by that point but then by the time yeah. you've so you're a small bit and then he's got no place to go like me. And it's that mm. I'm being am I being unfair to him? And you and immediately it's that little calm down. You start to calm down and then you go into how he came around the other week. And that's how it ties into the script, your emotions tie into the script there. It's those little bits. Um but beautiful, beautiful again. Beautiful. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. Right, on to the next one, good man, he says. So it's over to Jay. Son. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Jason. Oh, sorry, I was waiting. Like, okay. <clears throat> Is this still working? Sorry. <sighs> hey, the little one. So... You're due any day now. And I just want to be the first one to say that he can't wait to meet you. And um, we're, uh, we're probably going to be playing this for you at your graduation or of something. And mm. oh, fuck, this is so stupid. This is, oh, fuck it. Um, Look, um, I didn't even want to do this. This thing that she made me. And what sort of shit does she want me to talk about? Um, okay. Uh, oh, um, you were con conceived at a house party. Unfortunately for you, the house party was in 2020. The hemorrhoid of the world's worst fucking calendar. Um, I have not seen your mom in months now. And it's um it's probably gonna it's probably gonna be that I can't be there for you. When you're born, you know, when it's not my, my fault, yeah, you know, yeah, fucking, stupid fucking, bitch. give it down, you fucking shout about, girl, I'll give you something to fucking shout about. Oh, and that's your grandpa, by the way, yeah, he's the one that wanted you. To get aborted. Great A fucking parenting that is, isn't it? Thankfully for you, the cunt was stabbed to death in his bath 
before your first birthday. Um, Kat showed me some of your, some of, some of her video thingies she's been making and um, my God, she is going to embarrass the hell out of you. Well, that's if things go back to normal, that is. And God help you. God help you if you have to grow up in this world. We had people going mental over toilet paper. We had pubs shut down, cafes, restaurants. The place was like a fucking ghost town. We had people fearing people. And what kind of fucking world is that for a child to grow up in? I mean, there was one good thing about all of this, you know. We went to space. That was pretty cool, you know. We got to, we landed a rover on Mars. Um... Look, uh, I, I hope one day when you see this video, you're sitting there with someone that you love. And if it's me, then well, I love you too. And so does your mom. Um, I hope... You're a footballer or an astronaut right now. Uh, God knows what you're doing. But um, I just want to say I love you. And please, by God, don't turn out like me. Please. You know, working for some asshole cowboy or whatever you're going to be, kid. Your dad loves you. And he always will. I might not get this whole dad parenting thing right off the bat. But, um, come me some slack, you know? I'm your dad. Oh, and um, <clears throat> don't tell your mom that I secretly smoke, okay? Please. Thank you. And um, bye. Great. Great. Uh, yeah, drew me in. Uh, just like the audition type. <clears throat> Again, uh, just bear with me a second. So, one of the things that I like about it is you, you know, you, you, you up and down emotionally. Okay. There's one bit towards the end where I want you to get a little bit more emotional. Okay. And it's right yeah. where you start talking about the child being, um, you know, right now you might be a footballer or an astronaut or whatever. You're thinking ahead. You're dreaming about what your child is capable of doing, and that is as a as a young dad. I remember sitting and doing that. I remember sitting with my with my little boy, who's now got a child of his own, just recently last month. Um, you know, and you go. And you've got all these dreams and aspirations for your child. And I remember sitting there with him, you know, sort of like this in my arms, uh, looking at him and talking away to him and 
been like, you know, God knows what, what you're going to be when you grow up. And I, I remember tearing up. I remember that feeling of the more I thought about what my child might be capable of doing and how I wanted them to be amazing and happy and have the happiest mm-hmm. life, and have a better life than I got. It's that, that's that little bit there where, you know, you don't necessarily have to tear up. What I'm saying is, you know, little breaks yeah. in your voice. Mm-hmm. It's at that stage there that I, everything else, great. Just at that stage, I just want you to up the emotion a little bit. Yeah. Because, it's, you know, in particular, when you say into him, to the child on, on video, dad loves you. Mm-hmm. You know, don't forget dad loves you that okay. bit there and that will just tie it all all together you've gone from up here you've gone on this roller coaster of emotions you brought us through those roller coaster of emotions and right at the end it's a really sentimental little piece that mm-hmm. should strike not only with dads but it will strike with mums as well and that's what we need we need that little bit that's just going to draw them in and go hey. yeah got this and this is real and this is what would have happened and it, it's got to be it, uh, there's going to be so many people out there now with all this shit that we're going through that it's it really going to relate to it and that's what we need so that was great fantastic right on to the next bit uh, if i can just say a, a note this will be to both of you i am perfectly mm-hmm. happy with you changing up the script like i said in the audition like make the words your own add little bits take little bits but I could kind of tell then, Jason, that you'd realise that you'd have lived a bit too far and you're like, how can I link this back in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's fine. Just um, just uh, whatever you want to add, Lid, crack it in there, put them in, and uh, just make sure that you're getting the right emotions while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. no. It, as I was saying some of my lines, I was, um, I was trying to look at the camera and then I kind of lost where it was so I was like oh so I instantly I was like okay ad lib ad lib and then I tried to go back and track so that was yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's fine man I, I, I do not mind ad libbing because I always used to like directors who let me just ad lib my lines a bit because I was a fucking terrible guy <laughs> after learning lines but um yeah uh by all means any ad libs just kind of you both have got the characters down so I trust you wholeheartedly to just mm-hmm. make them your own so anything you want to add in, you don't really have to run bios. But if we don't like it, then we'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we'll move on. And uh, Steve, do you actually want to skip the, the Dr. Kelly monologue? Or yeah, you... it's, it's, there's not really much point in doing it. Both guys have read it. Um, and so we've got um, Dr. Kelly nailed, uh, which hopefully oh, we'll do God. tomorrow. That was <laughs> Elliot, my God. Um, yeah, that'd be that'd be good. So we're now moving on to scene nine, which is Kat's apartment. Yep, going um, on until the end. Yeah, and right through to the end. So uh, we we'll do the same again. Uh, if when it comes to Jay crying heavily, just, just give us like five seconds with your heads in your hand. Uh, just yeah, yeah, it will run away. Yeah. So uh, and, just. Could I just ask a question on that? Um, Jason, how are you with emotional and crying? Um, I can't, like, make tears come out of my eyes, like, on the spot, whatever. But um, um, I, I, I'll, I'll try some. I'll try some. And, and if you like it, like it, you want to. Okay. There's, 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 just so you can practice it, there's a couple of methods. Okay, one of them is really, really daft, and it sounds really stupid. But if you get, I don't know whether you can see that, your fingers in that shape, right? And literally rub them for about a minute, your eyes will naturally start watering, but they won't start straight away. I like how we're all seeing if this works. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying like do it now and and oh, yeah, no, yeah. draw your I'm eyes. To... But it, it'll give you two things. It'll give you so, so just in the you know just at the edge where not me, but where you put you know liner on. It'll it'll just redden those up as if you have been crying, so you can really oh, see it yeah. on the camera. But it will give you that little bit of just being. A, you know, you'll be able to blink and you'll get 
a little bit in there. Just yeah. give it a try, but whatever you, whatever you want. If not, there's some really easy methods that we can use um, with you Put to help you know, look as if you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, right. okay. Then. Right. So, guys, uh, so um, Natalia, whenever you're ready. I don't know who I'm doing this for. She was so small. She was perfect. She was pure and delicate. She was mine. All mine. Whenever you're ready now. Don't worry, she'll probably just need an inhaler when she's older. It's nothing to worry about. Clerical error. That's their excuse. What sort of an excuse is that? Well, it looks like Jay's dad got what he wanted, eh? I can finish my fucking degree, I suppose. Instead of being a mum, instead of having a family. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Am, am I being punished for something? Are we all? Am, am I not allowed to be selfish? Can I not have that sort of thing? It's not meant to be just a dream. It's meant to end happily ever after with me and Jay. Children. But you had to rip that away from me, didn't you? It was doomed right from the start. Just, I didn't see the signs. It's all just been a bad dream. I'm going to wake up and you'll be here. No more nightmare in daylight. Dystopian wonderland. People boxed off in cages, prisoners in their own home, being ferried around like fucking sheep. You wouldn't have fit in this world, baby. Not an angel in a world of devils. Mummy loves you. 
I mean, it's just you. Mummy will always love you. Mummy. That's great, Natalia. Thank you. Right. Awesome. Um, You're both great. Both fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Just as I'd literally hoped. So, um, done that one. That was perfect. Um, Just as you start there, I tell you on the clerical error. What is it, you know is it is it's in the capitals there. I really want that. Like you just you are screaming at the at the screen, not literally screaming. You are really shouting at the okay. screen. Like yeah. it's the frustration, it's the anger, it's the pain of of losing this perfect thing that you thought you were going to have forever. So there's just that one line yeah. in there that that has got to really come come out. You then stay angry, but you but it's just dropping a little bit. You're still angry about, you know, um, where it looks like Jack, Jay's dad got his wishes. You know, you're still angry at that. And yeah. then it's that just as just as Adam's written, it's that drop. Yeah. Into being upset. But you're not fully there yet. You're not fully like yeah. you know showed up. Question for yourself again. It's very very difficult. I've had to do it myself. Um, in a couple of films, where you know I've had a big emotional piece. One's been during a, a breakup argument. The other one was because I was about to die and I didn't want to die and all that malarkey. And you know, did starting off the the crying thing. And for me, I know I I really struggle to feel like if if this was being filmed as we'd normally film it and we'd film little bits and we'd be cutting backwards and forwards and you know changing camera angles just to get that. I find it very difficult. I always had to run the full scene so I could properly get into the get into it mm. and feel like I was, and I build up to it and build up to it. So, the question is, how are you at just producing a tear, not the full sob? How are you at just producing a tear? I, I'm good at getting teary eyes. And I'm working on getting them to roll down. Okay. That's where That's I okay. struggle. That's okay. But okay. yeah, I can. So you, I'm. I'm pretty good the to get why, to like the emotional point. Yeah. So it may be that we but, need to yeah. run this a couple of times for you to get to that emotional point. Maybe when we're actually recording, would that is that something that you think would help you? Yeah. Okay, because there's one bit. Um, possibly, yeah. There's one bit, and it's just towards the end that I'd love to see just a tear somehow yeah. roll down your cheek, and it's in the mummy, the mummy loves you section. No, it, it's actually just before that is your first tear, and it's okay. It's all just been a bad dream. I'm going to wake up, and you'll be here. Okay. And it's after you've said that, because yeah. I get, when I read that line, you were not going to be able to see it, but when I read that line, I literally get goosebumps. And that tells me as an actor that that is like a real key point in this. You know, this is where the, 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 the character has gone. I, I, I can't cope with this anymore. 
it's literally the point where they're going, I can't cope, but they're not saying I can't cope. It's just a bad dream. I'm going to wake up. It's not real. It's not real type thing. But rather than them doing it sort of like frustrated and whatever, it'd be lovely if it was possible just to get you to that emotional state where you were able to release a tear. Um, there are other methods. One of the other ones, which I didn't say to Jason before, was Vicks Vapor Rub. We used to use that. You just put a little <laughs> dab here. You've obviously heard of that one before. And of course, <laughs> because it's, it's, it, you've got no choice, you, it's going to make those eyes water <laughs> no matter what. Um, so, yeah, th but the only problem is, of course, is finding a point during it where you can just sort of like touch your, touch your face and then mm. you're not tearing up really early on. Um, but that would be lovely if we could just get that. And then obviously, like you say, the mummy loves you part is where... You're breaking down. You're breaking down at that point. And you're just breaking last, down. The last, um, like, meh, mummy isn't you saying another mummy loves you you're literally crying out for your mum mm, okay yeah mm, yeah well you can add like a bit extra on the end but the last lines are like if your mum was there this this would be the next bit is where you get the mum's hug sort of thing yeah okay so on that bit as well, the other, the other little, the other little note that I, I put bearing in mind with what Adam just said there as well was, you sort of, sorry, I'm, you can't really mm -hmm. see me there. Um, you sort of, you know, uh, I, mom, mommy, you sort of like, you know, you're at that stage where you, you're hugging yourself, you, you're comforting yourself as well. It'd be, it'd be perfect. But I tell you guys, yeah. both of you. Um, I, I actually said to Adam that I'm good, gutted you're not both um, UK based because I'm in the middle of writing something which is a, a Ravers film I'm one of the original rave generation of the UK um, as you can tell uh, you are <laughs> nothing, nothing. sorry Adam I've got itchy <laughs> eyebrows again mate <laughs> <laughs> oh look, so is my nose really itchy as well? Oh, yeah, um, yeah. But you'd you'd have both fitted the characters, so it's it's a it's a real show. It's still a while off, still a while off production. I've got to raise all the money and everything else yet. But um, immediately when I saw you, you captured me. You're doing the same on this read through. I know you're going to be amazing in this. Hopefully. Um, when it's all edited and put together, you know, we'll get a bit of interest from festivals and stuff like that as well, you know, so we can enter it. Um, but I think you both nailed, what's really important to me is you both nailed the character. You both had the character exactly as I had it in my head, which makes me go, yep, I got an easy run on this one, great. Um, so just do exactly as you're doing. Just take those couple of little notes. They are very, very minor. Um, and it's only because I want the best out of you and I want you to showcase the best of yourselves. Because at the end of the day, this is something that you can use on your show reels, which is really important as an, as an actor. You know, having good content for your show reels is really important. So I know we're not filming in a studio or we're not filming out on location. But what was the name of the series, Adam? That's the, the massive things over here in the UK. The the, the uh, stage. staged staged. Did you get that? Have you have either of you seen that? No. With um David Tennant and Michael. Oh, yeah. Uh, it it is fantastic. It is it's it's funny as fuck. It's funny as fuck. Just it's hearing really them all funny, people. but it's. It, it's, it's one that's basically them trying to set up a, a, a show um, and they're doing all the rehearsals over Zoom or whatever it is, oh, Skype that looks or whatever. so cool. And it's, it's yeah, really, really good. And it's, you know, we've got those opportunities now. You know, people are accepting of having stuff done pre-recorded or direct to camera or, you know, as if we're talking to you, just like now. 
Um, and it works really, really well. And the way that this script's been adapted from a Victorian piece into this works really well. So thank you. Thank you for bringing the characters alive because you, you've both got it. You've got it. Um, and I actually see that you've both actually got a really good future if you keep, if you keep determined enough to go ahead. Um, because that's, that's the key in this industry, unfortunately. It's having the determination. And you've got it. Right, I'm going to hand you over to our producer, because he's really the boss. Adam, yeah. I just thought... <laughs> um, well, I, th I think today's gone okay. Is everybody... Well, it's technically two days, weirdly, because of Nat in Australia and yeah. us. <laughs> I don't know whether we are officially on Thursday now. We've caught up. We've caught up. <laughs> um, but, yeah... Uh, I've been kind of sat on this script for a while, like at least six to eight months, and finally hearing it read out loud by two people that are perfect for the roles is... Um, three. One, three. Sorry, Ellie. Sorry, sorry. You were... <laughs> you were <just> <laughs> oh, sorry, man. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, I can't thank you both enough and uh, I'll be in touch soon. Uh, probably work with Nat sooner than you, Jason, just because yep, yep. she's got most of the chunk. But yeah. uh, look out for my emails and the request for Zoom calls and we'll talk about everything then. Uh, does have, either of you want to ask us out or have any queries or anything like that, uh, now's the time to say it or just email me. Good. So I was just going to. I was um, just going to say. Have you? I, I realised earlier when I was introducing and stuff. I didn't ask you if you had any questions for us. So please feel free um, to ask us anything. Um, <laughs> I don't at the moment. Nothing. I'm sure some might arise when I um, dig into the script a bit more. Yeah. I've only just kind of read over it a few times, but yeah, I'll definitely email you any questions. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, Adam, have you yeah. included my email address in there as well? I was going to say I'm going to send everybody's contact info to everyone in a pack, probably yeah. after this. If you, um, obviously, there could, there could be some questions in there that may not be script related more with regards yeah. to what you the problem. So by yeah. all means, please do. Um, and that's I'll, I'll answer you straight away. As soon as it, as soon as it pings up on my phone, I'll be looking out for you, um, and I'll answer you straight away. By all means, um, Adam, if you need to add my number in there as well, well, it's probably a good idea if you add my number, and then you could WhatsApp me or whatever as well. Just obviously say who it is first, because otherwise I'll be like uh, random. Uh, well, there'll be <laughs> only two people adding you from Australia <laughs> and Ireland. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't be giving me that shizzle, right? Because, like, <laughs> Susie's got family over there. Okay, okay. Not to mention I right. moved to Australia. One of them. <laughs> Sorry, what, Elliot? I forgot to mention I moved to Australia. Oh, yeah. So it's... Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're the you reason actually why moved to one of the only down, places that's hotter Elliot? than England right now. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's not, it's not very good over here at the moment. Well, it's early morning, isn't it? Going to get baking hot later, or is it? I don't know. Is it Australian oh, winter? winter it's Australia, actually yeah. it's really cold in our winters over here. You'd be very surprised. Well, it's not. It's definitely not England cold, but it's cold. Yeah. Enough. Yeah, nothing's colder than England. Nothing's colder than England. Yeah, I, I, was, I was in maybe pushing. Hang on, I, hang on. I was in Bristol yesterday. It was 102 degrees. What's that oh, in that, Celsius? Uh, about 35. Oh, 35 in Bristol. Dream. Yeah, it was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, my God. Driving back from there last night with my daughter because she she lives in Bristol. She's at uni in Bristol, and and um, driving back from there at quarter to ten, it was still eighty six degrees, which is about I think it's about twenty nine degrees, twenty nine Celsius. Wow. 
It was it was ridiculous. Oh. I was like pulling in at service stations. It's just currently taking my shirt six off degrees like, here. Oh. Buying an ice cream, you know. It's normally all summer, that Natalia. Six degrees. I bet it's I bet it's just the same over there in Ireland as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of the English heat is um is is more the English weather is more or less the same in Ireland. Like if if, if it's oh, yeah. really hot, normally really hot in Ireland. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you just got to look, look for mm-hmm. beautiful country. <laughs> but anyway, not that I'm bitter. Oh. Or anything. Right. So um. That's it from me. Um, by all means, like I've just said to both of you, um, feel free if you've got any questions, ping them over. 